So adding a weapon to a character in Unreal can be very easy. In my case, I want to add this sword to the hand of my character. So let's do all the steps. First thing is that I want to create a blueprint for my sword. But before doing that, make sure your pivot point here, if you go to modeling, it's right in the handle. For example, I can just go here to my pivot point and then go to pivot and move it a little bit. Just like that. And basically, I can put it in any position I want. And once I'm happy with this, then let's create our blueprint. So let's go here and let's create a blueprint actor and then call BP weapon sword, something like that. Okay. And it can be any kind of weapon. So here we will add our mesh, we will call it static mesh here. And we will need to put the sword. So let's put our sword here. And just like that, we have our blueprint for weapon, which we can change later for any weapon we want. So the next thing is just go to my character. So in order to find it, I just need to go to my mannequin here. Mannequin, uh, character, mesh. And there you go. You have the mannequin here. And here inside persona, we will go to the skeleton view. Now here I will find a socket where I can put my weapon. For example, I can put it in my right hand. So let's try to find it. This is the clavicle. So this is the hand. And here I need to add a socket, which is where I will put my weapon. So I will put it here, hand, and then add socket. And this is the socket's name. I will put hand R weapon socket, just like that. Okay, so now that I have this, I can position this in any way I want. And this hand will be the parent of this socket. So if this hand move, also this socket will move too. So in order to preview this, I can just right click and add preview asset. And I can put any asset I want. I will put my sword. I will just put it here. And just like that, I can just move it into any position I want. I can rotate it. I can do something like this, for example. And there you go. Now we have our weapon. And it should be really fine. If it intersects a little bit, no one will notice, so don't worry. Okay, so now that we have this, let's save this. And notice that this is only a preview. Now, when I play my game, I play from here. The character doesn't have any weapon. So let's add it. And we will do that by opening the blueprint. So if we go to our first third person blueprint and open the third person character, here I can put some code to add my sword. So what I will do is to go to the begin play at spawn actor from class, okay? And just like this, I will put like weapon here, and this will be my class. And the spawn transform, I will put my mesh here, and then get socket transform, just like that. So I can grab my mesh, which is my skeletal mesh. I can grab the socket. And here in the name, I need to put the exact name I put here. So in order to make it really easy, I can use F2, Control C, and then come back here and then paste this with Control B. And just like that, I can, I can just connect these two. Now, the last thing is just to attach to component just like this okay attach to component and this will be a socket name but for this we need a parent the parent will be our mesh here which is our character and there the socket name will be the same one we put 
and the location will be put a snap to target just like this okay and just like that this is a very simple setup to add weapons so just like this we can just play from here and notice that i have my sword here if you want to change it you can rotate it a little bit of course it will depend on the animation but now my character has a really nice sword so if you like this video subscribe for more videos of this and let us know in the comments which kind of video you would like to watch and of course make sure to check our store to check some freebies and i'll see you in the next one bye